out of school at three. Thank you, Christine. Let's 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 just address Fernandez and what he's doing, Magda. Uh, he he's been given. He's no, let's given, take Fernandez. So that Fernandez we can. is now our only hope, really, in trying to change an archaic system that has been in place. He's coming in with fresh ideas, uh, management, allowing schools to do their own management is something that is truly groundbreaking because schools have never been given that type of power. Power has always come from the bureaucrats. And now schools are being given that opportunity to do management, to hire and fire, to keep who they want on board, to look at principles that are not functioning, to really examine and get to the bottom of the problems that are in the schools. And he's allowing that to happen. So he, for most of us, most progressive educators, he's really one of our last, our last hopes that this, is, this might work. This, if it does not work, we don't know what we're going to do. Because in terms of what Fernandez is doing, it's taking effect right now. Schools are being, districts are being affected by it. I've been called in as a consultant for school district number one to look at curriculums and, and that's something that that there there's a need to be able to bring in ex experts from the outside that deal with the people and to be able to have their input they're having more mothers on school boards there they are getting more people involved Fernandez is responsible for all of this this is something that has has been attempted before and it's it's never worked so I think with him leading us into that, into this new ground, I think we might, we might be able to turn things around. We might be able to. I don't know. We need to give him a chance to. Um, the reception, some of the, some of the responses is po are positive. Some are not positive. Some, some school districts are afraid to deal with the problem of management because of all the problems with corruption, et cetera. They really don't want to deal with that. They, they like the way it is now. They like bureaucrats to be able to tell them, you know, move your right foot forward and then move your left. Other schools are being, other districts are being challenged by it. They're putting their, they're grabbing the horn, they're grabbing the bull by the horns and saying, well, this is good. This is what we've got to do. And they're, they're moving on it. Fernandez is allowing that to happen. I think it, we have to give him a chance. And, and that's really what it boils down to. He's going to be in, in that post for several years. So we've really got to see if this experimentation works. OK, thank you. Tamo. This is the sound. Is it sound? Yes, but we need Angela to be quiet for a minute. Thank you, Angela. OK. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's light in the shot. Go ahead, just can we move this plan? Okay. So you need to, uh, you just need to look at the second page in the spelling folder. Did you get the spelling folder? Okay, I have to give it to you today. We started, you sure you didn't get it on Monday? We started with um, singulars and plurals. Was that a little poem for homework? Right. Yeah, I got it in my house. Beaches. Beaches. The beach and fit in yeah. Did you find it hard? Huh? It was, yeah, it was a little kind of, little little kind of hard. But you know that you were applying the same rules that you had saw before. Yeah, but the only thing it was like, it was all. Uh, no, it was, yeah, you were yeah, doing yeah, editing. I did it though. You I were doing editing. It to you. All right, the other thing you have to think about is that you owe me several pieces of writing. I want you to write while you came to the street. Okay. okay, I want that ready by Monday. And if you want, I will call you up at home. Okay. Make sure that you do have it ready. Yeah, I'm gonna I take will. phone number. <laughs> All I right. Will. So you should look at the second part. I think the second part continues to deal with singulars and plurals. The same thing. Yeah. And back the next page. The next page. But I want you to make sure that you understand all the rules. Is it that you don't understand the rules? It's like, you know, it's like some words I just. Is it the words you don't understand, yeah, or is it the know, rules that you don't understand? Some words I understand, but some words it looks like, like, it looks wrong and they're right. 
you know, the, the spelling look like they write, okay, and at the same time, it looks like it wrong. No. You know, I don't know. That, that, that means mean. that you don't understand the rules. Yeah. It does. It does mean that. All right, we need to then go over the rules again on Monday. All right, we'll go over them again. Because if you remember that, Army, <clears throat> the reason why you're going to, if you want to make this plural, how it's going to turn plural, you're going to knock this Y and, and put an I-E-S, right, Army, or play, how would you make, how would you make play more than one? E-D? No. No. No, no, no. Oh, plain, I-N-G? That's the verb. I'm, I'm saying if you go to a play, which this is, makes it a noun, right? How would you make it more than one play? S. Why did you have to Because it's more than one. Okay, I accept that. But why didn't you... Why didn't Is that action work? No, forget about uh, forget uh, about that. Why did you add the S? Why didn't you strike the Y and I I E S? Because it's a vowel next to uh, But you know the rules. You understand the rules. That's right. That yes. Yes. Why? Because this is a vowel. And the rule says if the word before the last letter is a vowel, you just add an S. I think you're confused with the other rule. No, because sometimes that it's a vowel and a Y, but you could put the S or what was it? I E S. Or I E S. But why? Do you remember why? Let me show you. See that's. Let me show you. Because we're going into the ne the next part is that we're going into sentence structure. Remember, the rule says that if you have if a word ends in y preceded by a consonant, what's a consonant? A not a b or c c um, letters that's in vowels. Letters that aren't vowels. So this is a consonant. Any letter but A, E, I, O, U, drop the Y and add I, E, S. For example, the example I gave you, Army. Why did, why did you drop the Y and add I, E, S? Look at what this is. It's no vowel. It's a consonant. Right. So that's why. So these, these are the two rules. Did it just dawn oh, on you? Okay. It's just sitting right here. All right, all right. When they, don't, when they got a Y and they don't got a Y next to it, you put I-E-S. And when they got a Y and they got a Y, you just put an S. You got it. Thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome. Thank you. That's it. So that's the rule. So this is one rule and this is another rule, right? We only had a certain amount of rules. You understand this, the C-H and X, you're going to add E-X, E-S. Y again, the X, you're going to add ES. Double, double consonants at the end, you're going to add ES. Okay? This is class. What about glass? Glasses. Right. But what do you do? Yes. Right. Why? Because it's two, got two consonants in front of a vowel. Okay, how about, no, I don't want you to look at these. Um, let me see, uh, what would you do? Son, son. <laughs> Turning up my film, man. Okay, son, I'm on, uh, I'm on three, and uh, I'm about to do a white the balance. Six, six is my Kelvin. Action. Take care. No 
was fine. What an actress! Okay, action! Take care, right? I think he needs to look a little towards the street more. Look a little bit towards me. Yeah. Okay, can he walk into this uh, classroom there? The well, I don't see him, though. He can walk through the frame. I'll tell you when. Not yet. Okay, come on through. Keep going all the way through. Okay, time. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. Wait. Wait. come to the back table and you can start working on the nuts. You know where they're at. You need to have one cup each. Let's have Tashana come back and get a bowl and Jessica come back and get a bowl. Two bowls each for your groups.
measuring up. Tell me which one you like, or what it, what it is. And this here. is the one I like. The one I like. Well, they're actually, they're mostly outside. These are the little bud seeds. They're mostly. These mm -hmm. are little. I like this one here. These, these are little. The, what, are most of them these are, are outside. Nuts. These are nuts. These are nuts. And those are little you know, things. You know the names of any of them? The, I guess the good one. This is the L. Good, that is indeed the L. This is the sycamore. The palm. This is the palm. That's one of the sycamores. This is the sycamore. This is the sycamore. This is one of my sycamore. No, yes it is. Do you remember what those are? Well, this is. You can spend a little, a little longer time there. And those are the kids that two of those kids will take you uh, on the tour. Okay. Yes, it is. Number six, Sandra. 